and just in time for laundry, I came dressed in my suit, and Bruce is dressed more casually for laundry, which is more appropriate. <laughs> we were teasing just a moment ago, the last time we worked together, he was in a tie and I wasn't, and I told him he was overdressed for laundry. <laughs> so, uh, you know, we, he's giving me a little payback today. We've got a marvelous clothes rack drying system, Absolutely. and this is amazing. It is so popular every single time we have it on the air. In fact, the last time was April 15th, mm -hmm. sold out completely. Uh -huh. It's already been very popular. Already over 100 have been ordered just from our preview this morning. This is a great way for you to hang up six to 18 garments mm -hmm. on the back of a closet door if you Absolutely. want to. And for me, Bruce, when I hand wash a sweater, I don't know where I'm going to lay it to get it to dry properly and also so it won't get all crumbled and, and, you know, and creased up. This allows us with these long arms to be able to hang up sweatshirts and sweaters and jackets and coats, whatever we're washing, and make sure that they dry evenly and without creases. And Air drying is really important to people today. Uh, you know, they buy the clothing's more and more expensive. It's made better. And you want to air dry it to make it last longer. Anytime you clean out the lint trap, you know, in the dryer and you throw that lint away, that just came from the clothing you just dried. So it doesn't take very long to deteriorate that clothing to where it's absolutely nothing. Exactly. Uh, the whole reason that I came up with this was simply because uh, in my home, I used to rent a lot of the rooms to college students. So I would lay my sweaters out flat to dry all over the house. And, you know, if I folded the sleeves over on top of themselves, they would be there for a couple of days. Sure. Because one side would dry, and then you'd have to flip it over and dry the other side. Yeah. And sometimes underneath the sleeves wouldn't get dry, and I'd put it away damp, and then uh, it'd mold or mildew. Or mildew. Yeah. yeah. So I, um, I wanted a way to get airflow all the way around it, and I mainly came up with it to dry sweaters. But it did so well on all the other garments that we began to develop it. Uh, the way it works is basically when something comes wet out of the washing machine, and you can see this is wet. Oh, yeah. And um, when it comes wet out of the washing machine, what you do is you just slide a bar down either sleeve just like that. Then you plug the bars together, hang it up, and then it allows you to re-block a garment. So if it shrinks a little bit in the washing machine, you can just block it back out. You know, and with my sweatshirts, that's a big issue. Because uh -huh. if you, if you uh, tumble dry your sweatshirts, your all-cotton sweatshirts, they're going to draw up. The sleeves are going to get shorter. Mm -hmm. They're going to get tighter under the arms. This happens to me all the time. I'd like to think it was because I was buffing up, but that's not <laughs> it. The, the dryer is really doing a number on it. How many of you hang up a shirt like this? This is the worst way to go about it, because look at what you're doing. You're stretching out the neck. You're doing yep. all those things. The, the neck just, and you can see here, there's no, there's no pull on the neck at all. This neck isn't going to stretch out, stretch out. But this one, it, and, and about 10 driving, drying, it's going to hang drape way down. <laughs> it's not going to fit around your neck At least neck you can anymore. wear a necklace with it. And <laughs> look, at, look at this. I mean, when you get through with it, you still got to take this one by the ironing board and iron it. With exactly. this, you don't have to do that. This is amazing. And now, Bruce, is it hard to put together when you get the it's system home? It's very, very simple to put together. Talk everything, to us about that. everything snaps together. This is it when you're not using it. It just stores over the back of the door. You can mount it to a wall or you can mount it to a fence in the backyard. Right. Or you can hang it over any door. Uh, when you're using it, you just open the door against the wall and slide it all the way to the end of the door. And, uh, and it's really simple to slide everything together. Your L bracket just slides in from the bottom or you can slide it in from the top. And these are the brackets you use mm -hmm. with the uh, little arms right. here. And right. you uh, slide those into the clothing and snap them in right. place. Right, right. And I, I tell you what, I'll take this um, golf shirt and I'll just wet it so that everybody can see that what we're drying up here okay. is actually been uh, wet. Now, if I was doing this at home with a sweater, if I was going to hand wash one of my sweaters, I'd throw it in a spin cycle of the washing machine and let the spin cycle spin the water out. Yeah, just because this is going to water out. Because that one's going to be, you know, sopping uh -huh. wet. Right. Um, so, but, but it's really simple to use, and I'll show you just how quick it is to put it together. Okay. This is a collared shirt, so I'm going to slide my collar stays on, and then I'm going to slide it down the sleeve. Oh, that's Put so my, easy. Yeah, and then I'll just take another collar stay for the other side. Another arm. Slide it down the other sleeve. Okay. Then all you have to do is plug it together and hang it up. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna hang it up on this okay, one over here sure. with the other garments. And it's really simple to block the wrinkles out. Now it, when it came out of the spin cycle, the washing machine, it was gonna be really wrinkled up and it looks terrible. All you've got to do to take those wrinkles out, instead of having to go to the ironing board, is just lightly block. And you know what? The only thing that I ever have to iron, because I send all my shirts out, the only thing that I ever find that I'm having to iron are my, you know, um, golf polo shirt, type yeah. golf shirts like this. And you know, the collars always get all wumpy job. That's a southern term. <laughs> so uh, this is going to be something that is easy for you to shape the collar when it's wet and then allow it to dry that way so you're not ironing nearly as much as you were used well, to. Well, if you're going to use southern terms, use them when you're with me because you'll sound, you fit right in. That's <laughs> right, because he knows wumpy job. <laughs> all right, $27.17. Let's go off to the phones. Carol from California is joining us. And Carol, given that you're from California, we'll translate the southern terms for you, okay? <laughs> Thank you very much. Not a problem. Meet Bruce Scott. Hi, Carol. Hi. How are you? How are you, Bruce? Doing great. 
Now, Carol, what was it about the laundry mate that really caught your eye? Well, I live in an apartment and I hand wash just about every other day. I hang the things on the shower rack, mm -hmm. on the shower head, and I thought, oh boy, this is, it will be perfect. <laughs> you bet. Yeah. Uh, it, it makes it so much, it, you're, able, uh, you're able to dry so many garments in just one area instead of having those sweaters on the back of the kitchen table, I mean on the back of the chairs and on the kitchen table and, and all towels over the house. Yeah. Unbelievable. What kinds of things do you wash at home, Carol? What kind all of uh, clothing my, items? Almost all my underclothes, about half of my clothes, all the dresses. And sweaters and whatnot? Mm -hmm. Yes, ma'am. Well, I think this is going to be fine for you, and it's so easy to put together, too. You're not going to have to have any tools to put this together. No, it takes no tools. Oh, Everything wonderful. snaps together. It's really quick. Um, and also, if you'll hand me that pair of shorts. Another Certainly. thing, when you're drying a short sleeve shirt, you talked about drying hose, you've got a little extra space out on the end of the bar. Because of the square design, you can hang something, you can hang one thing out on one side, then go get something else and hang it over the other side, and you can get three garments on one ha on just one hanger. It's like having six shower curtain rods to drape your things oh, over. Oh, that's wonderful. Thank right. you so much. Well, Carol, enjoy it, and again, it's easy to put together when you get it home. Just follow the instructions, snap it together, put it on the back of a door, and you're going to be set in no time. Uh, thank you. That sounds great. Take care. I will. Bye-bye now. Already over 500 have been ordered, and they just make sense, Bruce, and I think that's the thing. You know, that's the key here. This, in particular, with sweatshirts and with long sleeve shirts, not having to iron as much is a godsend for me, because I hate it. Uh, well, I'll tell you what, we've just done a survey, and we found that the number one, when people buy this, they usually buy it to, to dry sweaters and, and things like that. But once they get it home and they start drying on it, Every one of them have told us the biggest factor is the less ironing. They're doing uh, just very little ironing now at all. Exactly right. And here we've got another shirt. This one is a long sleeve shirt. You want me to hold that one? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, this is a long sleeve shirt. And we've taken the bars. The bars have a round side on uh, one side, a big, broad, round side for sweaters and sweatshirts yeah. so that you don't mark your sleeves at all. Super. But if you could take it over and you can turn it over and put the edge of the bar up, and that will put a crease down the top of a sleeve. Yeah, like sleeve if you like need it for a dress shirt or right. for something like when that. When you take this shirt now and lay it on the ironing board, it's going to lay really flat, really smooth. You'll be able to run over it with an iron in little of no time. I mean, Absolutely. It's so quick. We're going to go back to the phones. This time we'll go to Texas and we'll say hello to Nita. Good morning, Nita. Good morning, David. How are you? Doing very well. Say hello to Bruce. Hi, Bruce. How are you? Good morning, Nita. Well, you brought a wonderful product to us. Well, thank you. <laughs> I can certainly use it. Well, now tell us why. Well, I have a, a son and, and a grandson that uh, I have lots of um, old shirts and, and t uh, sweatshirts and all that sort of thing. And, yes, ma'am. And a lot of sweaters that I have and that I lay on the table and, you know, uh, have a big mess with them. <laughs> so I think it's just a wonderful thing. Anita, take a look here. We're going to show you a sweater right quick. Okay. And, uh, Anita, this sweater has been washed over 30 times. I uh -huh. do a lot of home shows, and I wash them Friday, Saturday, Sunday of every one of those shows. Uh -huh. This year alone, I've done 30 home shows, yeah. where I, and this, I'm, and I've, I've done 10 home shows and washed this sweater over 30 times. Uh, okay. yeah. A lot of people think if you hang a sweater up to dry, it's going to lose its shape. Well, that's because with a hanger, you're only supporting about two inches on either side, and then if, with a wet sleeve draped down, they weigh as much as the main body of the garment because there's much material in two sleeves as there is in the main body. But with these big arms here, Nita, you're going to find that it evenly distributes the weight, so you're not going to have that drooping or stretching. That's right. Yeah, you, th you that's true. And, and uh, my husband's about 6'4", so he's got long arms. <laughs> well, God bless him. I know what uh, you're preaching to the <laughs> you know choir how, here. You know how he feels, don't you? <laughs> yes, <Yeah>. ma'am, I do. <laughs> Very well. Well, listen, Nita, we'll send this out to you right away, and thank you so much for your phone uh, call. You're welcome. Nice speaking to you. It's our pleasure. Nice to talk to you. Bye-bye uh -huh. now with a 37-inch sleeve. I know exactly I, what she's talking yeah, about, exactly. and this is gonna be a godsend. We've got time for one more quick phone call. We'll go off to, uh, is it um, Arkansas? Is that Arkansas? Yes. Yes, hey, Joanna, how are you? I am just fine, how are you? Doing very well. I always get Arkansas and Arizona and the abbreviations mixed up. <laughs> All right. I used to before I lived here. That's <laughs> right, there you go. Tell us, Joanna, what do you think of the uh, laundry mate? I think it's going to be great. I've looked at it and looked at it, and I finally decided I really need one. Now tell me, what kinds of things are you washing at home? A uh, lot of knit shirts. Well, that's what it works best with. Anything that's a knit that's kind of stretchy, I mean, you don't, you don't touch those at all with an iron. It just blocks out beautifully. Exactly. And well, I'm sure I'll love it when I get it. 
And you know, I think you're gonna like that. You'll also enjoy the fact that this requires no tools to assemble, and it's gonna be very easy for you just to snap it all together and pop it on the back of a door. I'm thinking about popping it on my deck. Yeah, that you, would work too. Absolutely, you can use it outside. You can you can just mount it to a fence in the, on the deck, or you can you hang know, it over where the you're fence. doing your maybe hanging up laundry outside, your uh -huh. bed sheets and things to right. dry and whatnot. Get that sure. fresh outdoor smell. And it's just perfect. wonderful. Oh, that'd be great. Well, Joanna, enjoy it. It did sell out the last time we had it on the air. It's very popular again today, so uh, I'm glad that you dialed in when you did. David, you are the cutest thing. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. You're very sweet. You take good care of yourself and enjoy the laundry mate, okay? Okay, bye-bye. All right, Thank take you. care now. Bye-bye. $27.17, and please remember that this is something that sold out the last time on air. Already a 1,000 have been ordered, so if you're on the line for it, stay there. We'll get you as quickly as possible. Remember, it will hold 6 to 18 different garments, and Bruce, thanks very much, buddy. Thank you. Always a pleasure to yeah. see you. Great to see you. You know what? If you're looking for a Father's Day gift and you're tired of buying socks and ties, check this out. It's all coming up.